What's up everybody, it's Jay with Shorepoint Creations and today we're talking about boom, V-carve inlays and why I feel that they're better than straight bit inlays. Why did I point that way? I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. Well, we're real happy with, um, with what was going on. Check it out. When it comes to inlays, you have two main types. One is a straight bit, which is really like a puzzle. You know, you have your socket here, you have your inlay here, and it's got a straight bit to cut it, which means the walls are straight here, and this has to fit together. Your tolerances have to be dead on, otherwise you'll see gaps around, and that just looks like hell if you're off just a little bit. Uh, plus, when you're milling something like this, look at that. I used to have a little piece sticking off here. That snapped off. The fins on the fish right here, they popped off during the milling and got sucked up into the dust collection, so they're gone. Uh, so this, this, this is crap. What I did instead was I went to V-carve inlays. Now, V-carve inlays are a little bit different. They're more like a plug and a socket, which makes it a lot better. The reason is, you don't have to be as exact on your tolerances because the whole plug doesn't go into the socket. Some will stick out and what you do is just take a bandsaw, shave off what's sticking out, sand it up and it looks really nice. So if you want to check out how to make a V-carve inlay, here we go. Okay, well in V-carve desktop here, um, what we're going to do is we brought in the Giants logo and we're going to create the pocket first. So part of your, when you do an inlay, you have a pocket and then you have the inlay, which goes inside the pocket. So to create the pocket, we need to cut out this area here. And we do that with a V bit. So we can just highlight this, come over to the toolpath side, select our V carve engraving toolpath. Okay, we can do 0.25 works. I use my 60 degree. V bit. Um, we don't need a flat area clearance tool. And this one we're just going to call pocket. Calculate that. And then you can preview it. Okay, so now there you go. So that's going to be our pocket. Now we need to create the inlay portion. So let's go back to the drawing tab, go to our 2D view. Go down the layers here. So click on the layers tab, highlight everything, right click on it, go to copy to layer and do new layer. Call it inlay and make it visible and active. Okay, now we're on the inlay layer. We can turn off the pocket layer, so we hide that. Okay, now for the inlay, we go back to the drawing tab. Here's what we need for the inlay itself. We need to keep this portion here, okay? We need to remove the outside because we need to put this in the pocket. So first things first, the most important thing, when you go to lay this on top of the pocket, it needs to be reversed. So come up to mirror and flip it horizontally. Now, how would you get all this to cut out and this to stay? Well, it's really simple. Just come up to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle giving space around the entire logo. Okay, close it. You can highlight everything again. Go back to the tool pad or tool path. Go to the V-carve engraving tool path. Do 0.25 and go ahead, select your 60 degree V-bit. You could use a flat area clearance tool to remove this, but I'm just gonna use the V-bit. It's a small one, so we'll let it go. Name it inlay and calculate. Now if we reset the preview and we just preview the selected toolpath of the inlay. Now you can see the inlay that's gonna go inside of the pocket. Now we can head over to the CNC software and send the G code to the CNC machine.
going to do is we're just going to finish this off with a little bit of oil. And as you can see, if we can get up close, all these little spots here, it fills in perfectly. You don't have to worry about dealing with such small pieces and will they, you know, crack or break. They're perfect every time. Every inlay I do that's V-carved works. It just works. So that's why I prefer V-carve inlays compared to straight bit inlays. Now I use V-carve desktop by Ventric, uh, but with V-carve technology or functionality built into Easel Pro by Inventables, you know, anybody with an X-Car can now do something like this without spending the money on Ventric software. So, if you like this video, please hit that like button, share it with a friend, and please, please subscribe. We've got a lot of videos like this, plus we give away tools after our tool reviews, so please hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you next time. Go Giants. Not this year. I feel like a jet fan. I'm